diamonds on my neck like I'm before 550 with Leon door All these girls on my tattoos I ain't a player but I had to We up, we up, we up, we up A City Boy Podcast Welcome back, YouTube, to another City Boy Podcast. We, we up, we up, we up. up. And you know who's back. Pretty boy, Mr. Handsome. You already know it's your boy, City. That nigga gave himself so many yeah. adjectives right For there. For real. Mm. Pretty boy, meet the handsome. <laughs> I was looking at the comments, you know. That's you know, his pronouns, you know. I guess. The woman loved me. The woman loved me. They was like, oh my God, City, when you going to get back on the podcast? They love their short kings. Oh That's God, what that so is. God, you know, you know. And you know, uh, well, if if you're Mr. Handsome, I think I'm King Handsome. <laughs> King Light Skin. That's big handsome right there. <laughs> champ, champ, champ. Champ. Out. Well, if you King, I'm God Handsome. Okay. <laughs> out of stratosphere, Handsome. My boy it's been out boy, there in the man. sun. Yeah, it's your boy kid coming yeah. off that playground All in that, that sun. As always, you look like it. Nigga been outside, outside. I look like you've been outside, huh? You boys on got the, the tan going on, you know what I'm saying? You got the tan going on, but you burnt. <laughs> you just black as hell. You just I black need that as hell. Right right on me. He left that nigga on the, on boy, the grill right. too long. <laughs> that boy must have went on a beach trip somewhere. Man, I don't know how you feel about it, but like, being like like being like and maybe being dark and you get a little little lighter in the winter mm -hmm. you feel me but like in the winter time i call that like my chris brown time exactly you know what i'm saying yeah, that's exactly. that's drake time in mm -hmm. the winter time you know mm -hmm. Lighter shit. Now I'm on my Trey songs right now. Facts. You know yeah. What I'm, <laughs> I'm, on my, I'm on my trigger oh, right God. now. Oh, getting just just about dark as shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This the this the color that like. Them white girls be going for exactly <laughs> with the self with their spray tan <laughs> on and, and and you know laying in the little tan in bed. They be like, right, oh, I'm trying to get like that. They should be like, like that. damn, must be nice. Mm -hmm. This God made baby. Oh God, no, you God. can't do that. Live in the flesh, <laughs> man. How niggas been though? Outside, you know, you know, feel like a million bucks. You know, I'm a champ three champ. times, champ. And you know, we right. touched on it the last episode, and we told y'all boys. That we was gonna do that. He got the shirt on over there. That's a Heartland Football Association yes, sir, Champions twenty twenty three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, by the way, you know, that's back to back to back. Right. You know, three of them. Ain't nobody the doing nothing like me that. Going back to back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? And back to back off the off the national champion. Champions. Exactly. Right niggas on the book today talking about that ain't they national championship roster. Da da da. Bring all them niggas. Do you hear mm -hmm. me? Bring, Bring him to him. the pig skin. They ain't ready. Put that shit in the fucking chat immediately. They don't need, what they the fuck? Ready. They ain't ready for it. Weirdos. Exactly. He's talking about if we had a real quarterback. Nigga, if we had a real quarterback, what are you talking about? Is that exactly. is that really a thing? No disrespect to my nigga Hunch or Shaka. Yeah. Exactly. But Hunch played tight end in college and Shaka played running back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you niggas is getting done up. Done up. By a running back and the tight end. Right. Bad. Dotted up too Bad. at that. Doing because I think Bad. I think Shaka had at least three touchdowns. Three yards. Thrown touchdowns at that. Three yards. Mm -hmm. And then a plus fifteen 20 broken in the tackles. Air. Plus twenty in the air. Shit on those crazy. touchdowns too. Shit's crazy. So I can't believe the disrespect Stocktown's really getting right now, kid. Touch like, on that, man. It's I'm, unbelievable, man. You know what I'm saying? We taking over dynasties and y'all just in y'all feelings, man. Oh make no sense to me. <laughs> oh y'all be seeing our videos. Y'all already know what it is. Mm -hmm. And I can't tired. wait for the episode after the ring ceremony because I'm going to be in here like, <laughs> they're kind of oh, big, you know it. Let me straight up my ring. <laughs> kind of big, you know. Motherfuckers kind of big, you know. Come on now. I don't know nothing about that. Y'all already know we the talk of the town. We're about to exactly. be talking the nation, too. Come Man, on, bro. I can't. I can't. They already that. talking, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, they inviting us to Pigs in Classics, want us to come up play in Minnesota Oh, and niggas State. out here linking up. Mm -hmm. They trying to They trying to call the Avengers, reassemble. Exactly. You <laughs> niggas. To come get this infinity gauntlet? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Come on, now. I'm good. Come on, man. That'll make us snap. Right. <laughs> make <laughs> us snap. <laughs> I'm saying. You niggas is not them. That Just was know right that. work exactly. for us, man. You niggas is not them. Man, and, and Kid came in here with the with the championship kicks on, Yo, gold sorry. on. Got the gold. Championship shirt over yeah. there. Yo, sorry, Fly guy. Yo, city. Touch, 
Just touch on the drip real quick, please. You know, I got the, the Travis Scott sixes and you turn the motherfucking lights off. These turn, motherfuckers glow. Cut the lights and they glow. These motherfuckers Crispy. gonna glow in the dark with a little pocket on the side. You know, I got the Travis Scott shorts on too. Hey, Utopia is dropping on Friday. I don't want to shout the man out, but that shit is dropping. That shit gonna be crazy. You ever thought like, let's say you was you was in a bird crib and her nigga came home and you had the duck off in a in a closet. <laughs> Lights stay off, but what if he walk in and your shoes glowing? <laughs> First thing I would do is fire on him. I'm out of there. Punch I thought you told me this window. motherfucker wasn't coming here for the next three hours. Man. Man. She's like, he got off early. I'm like, shit. <laughs> you know I already uncleared it. Yeah. Beat the doonies down real quick. So, you know, I was just chilling for a little bit, watching TV, watching my little anime episodes. And she yeah. done caught me. He done caught me slipping. Motherfucking. Yeah, you came in here stepping, though, for sure. Yes, sir. I had to yeah. crawl out like kid. No, yeah. I see I see the boy came in here all extra little slight little something. Some, so he came in comfy. Some cozy. He came mm-hmm. with that Craig. Some cozy. Mm-hmm. These uh these the side collective Lux slippers. This nigga kid was like, is them Versace? <laughs> <laughs> He, said, I need, I, no, he took a picture. Yeah, he took you know, a picture of the feet. You know, if I'm stepping on something, I, I, I'm stepping. Oh, God. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, that's something like we always be talking about. If it ain't in you, it better be on you. Exactly. Sir. Right? What can a woman do to be more attractive? Like, or do you feel like as dudes, we categorize them too quickly or like we give them that eight or that nine or the set six, five, whatever? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Based off of strictly looks. You always going to get the base price. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When you go see a whip, you know, you see that Corvette, that Miro, mm-hmm. you're going to get, you're going to give it a rating right then and there. Right. But then you turn the ignition, you hear that thing hemming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that rating goes up. Start up. Exactly. Yeah. So it's the same thing. You know, mm-hmm. if, if you, you looking like a baddie, you know what I'm saying? Got, you know, got the long hair, mm-hmm. got the body suit on. Heels, mm, toes, you love out. them body suits, don't you? Hey, yeah, love them body they suits. They're not like the sun. Oh, white body suit, milk, 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 make the body look good. Yeah. They're not like the sun. <laughs> He said, Shut you know, she got ass. She got out. Oh. And she wearing a bodysuit on, she attending him on. Nah, if she wearing it's... a bodysuit, that better be a thick back. Oh, God. A thick back. Oh, oh my God. mother. Oh, God. It gotta have a thick back. Nah, it gotta be the oh, sundress. It gotta be that, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That, that free loops. I love sundress. how you said, I love how you said the base price. Yeah. I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and feed off of that, piggyback off that. I like the retail price. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of the retail price. You know, hey. we deal with shoes and everything a lot. You know, when you get the retail price, it might be 160 to 200. So, you know, after you resell it, it's going to be at least 300 to 500, right, you know what yeah, I'm saying, right. around that range right there. So, you know, I'm putting it in terms of this, like a shorty a retail price based off how you see her and appearances and everything. Mm-hmm. But once you get to know her, though, mm-hmm. you know, the resale price can go up because you're going right. to fuck with her in longevity. Yep, right. You know, you're going to have to take her to pound town, you know, riding with my rounds, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, it's just like that. You can't give that up to somebody right. else. Because I, like, I feel like the shorty's been in the comments and they said, Kid of four, but the nigga's so funny, he is seven. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're like, so, like, so I'm a 10. But as dudes, though, you know, you hear it all the time, yeah. right? Like, you ever seen a shorty that you feel like Buddy is definitely out kicking his coverage? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's so like, oh, well, he was funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, oh, he could, that's what my mom said about my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Ma, what was it about my dad? She said, Hey, he was funny. He Positive could, looking at this like he fuck could dance. you. <laughs> Not like I was mes- memorized right. by him. Like he right. was funny. Like oh, that was a, that was a pretty ass nigga. No, he gonna no. start thinking he's like fuck you. Next <laughs> time, he's like, he gonna think about it for a little bit. But like I was a funny ass. I was a funny nigga. <laughs> oh god. You know what and, I'm saying? And and sometimes I don't feel like as men we do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, because like you see a you see a a ten, and to be honest, I feel like. Like y'all kind of saying the retail or the, mm-hmm. that base price. The first look is where I always go off of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And if she an eight right then and there, low key she always gonna be an eight to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the other shit definitely adds to who they are. Mm-hmm. But like, that's what you start your. Big I scale thing. off a of look, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. Now could a could a seven. On a look scale, be a, a eight and a half, nine with a personality for shit, sure. Absolutely. But that don't change the fact she always going to be a seven. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, 
you already see what it is, so you already done scaled it out, and you already like, all right, like, yeah, I know what that is right there. Like, I know what she get into based off of how you look at a girl too, and how she how she carry herself. Like, right. you could tell how shorty gonna be because niggas like, would never hit the chat and throw a bird in there mm-hmm. that looked like a bird and be like, but she's funny though, gang. Exactly. Nah, you keeping her in the, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Never. Exactly. Yeah. But like. It'd be certain niggas that just funny as shit. It really do. It really do. Like, think about it in high school. The funniest nigga you know probably had a probably had a little badass joint. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had all the, actually had all the girls, actually. Right. Honestly. Like, they always wanted to be around him and stuff like that. Like, he just was charismatic. I know my homie like that. He just don't, <laughs> he don't, he just don't give a fuck. Yeah. Buff ass white boy just was like, fuck it. He'll do anything at a party. You just like, damn, do I tell him to do that right now? He'd be like, Fuck it, I'll do it. Jump off a roof into a pool. I'm just crack his head wide open. Girls about like, D- <laughs> <laughs> he hop out, got a shorty shit. at the end of the night. I'm like, man, fuck this nigga. But you know, I'm getting mine too, though. But like, right. man, yeah. like, I wanted that one though that he got. Right. Mm-hmm. How do you do it? Exactly. Yeah, we had this funny ass nigga in high school, man. I ain't gonna say too much because I don't want to disrespect the nigga or have him feel like he was the ugly ass nigga. But boy, <laughs> that nigga was hilarious. Had more sluts than a lot of. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I think, I think for me in high school Like the girls wanted to be low key with that dude You know what I'm saying He's so damn ugly But he funny mm-hmm. I don't want people in public to know I'm with him So how did that work out for you kid <laughs> <laughs> Yo after this pile I'm swinging on this nigga <laughs> You know, hey. you know, you know, hey. we had to get a personal experience for for our instance real quick. We had to learn how. He said buddy from high school. <laughs> that nigga th- going back in the Rolodex. Oh, like, God. How can I cover this up? Oh, God. Because nah. cause my nigga kid, and I can't, please put up a picture of you with the flat top. Uh, in, in high the, school, you the one school. with the the one with the flat top in the in the in the horizontal striped shirt mm. <laughs> <laughs> for that the one nigga. time they got to see it for the one hey, time for the one time I yeah. swear that bitch was Aeropostale. <laughs> <laughs> it had to hey, be. It had to be. Was. Had to be. Was. Was. Aeropostale had all their designs like that. Yeah. Bro, keep it up. Y'all niggas ever worked in a, a retail? Store I worked like in Aeropostale. My very Fact. first job Hollister, was at actually. I'm sorry, Hollister. Hollister. Yep. I worked Dang. in Hollister. I worked in Hollister and Abercrombie. Mm-hmm. I'd get off one, go to the other. Yep, man. Change my shirt. Got the same <laughs> jeans on. Yeah. I'm selling Abercrombie and shit wearing Hollister jeans. Exactly. Like, shit was absolutely insane. And there was some baddies in there, too. Bad Every time coming My in first job was at Journeys shit. at West Road. Oh, you worked at yeah. Journeys? That was my very first job, bro. But I used to want to work at, like, Finish Line or Foot Locker so bad for mm-hmm. the discounts. Exactly. Because, oh, yeah. like. And all the sneaker heads looking at All the baddies sneaker heads, too. Right. I'd be like, damn, bro. I want to sell her some shoes, but. I'm gonna have the kicks on my damn self, but I still want to kick it where we can be sneak ass together. <laughs> oh God, I'd be like, I always want that relationship, but I never got one. That's a, I was like, I can't keep up with that shit, bro. But is I feel like that's where you at today, though, too. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Still looking for a sneakerhead. Mm-hmm. Like for a shorty to be with me, what what does like for y'all like? What does a shorty have to be like for me? Mm-hmm. She have to be fly. Like she have to be. She has to have sneakers. She gotta. Know how to push it on, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, Don't gotta yeah. like, you like, does this look good on me? Exactly. Do it. You sure? Right. Know like I like my I like for my girl to surprise me and look presentable. Mm-hmm. Like when she wears something, I'm like, ooh, like I didn't expect you to look that good in that, mm-hmm. but I can't wait till we get back home so I can take it off. Yeah, exactly. you know what I'm saying. I love a joint that can throw on some dunks mm-hmm. or. You know, knows what Jay's, you know what I mean? She Coming ain't over out. here buying her nigga mids. Exactly. You feel me? Like, I've said it before, and I'll say it again a thousand times. Bitch, if you buy me some mids, that shit's going <laughs> right back in the you, box. Oh, if God. You buy me some six rings. Make sure you bring the receipt. Make sure you bring the receipt. Swing it on you. Make know what I'm saying? Some flights. Make sure you bring the Like, Sting <laughs> gotta know her shit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah, exactly. I'm the same way. Yeah, you gotta know your own style. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I love the 90s and the 80s, you know, yeah. fashion style. So if you dressing like that, but <sighs> bingo, I feel like it would have been so hard to be born in it, born there and like raised in the 90s. You yeah. feel me? Like I was born in the 90s, but yeah, yeah. I don't really remember that. Like, them shorties had so much swag. Oh yeah, like with the bucket crazy. hats, bucket hats, overall, big hoop earrings, you know, what? with the, the jeans, the, the big jeans jacket, popped the open and everything like that, with the thong under or the little bathing suit under, you Man. know what I'm saying? With the oversized jackets, oversized shirts, and right. everything. Basically, what we're saying is that super slutty shit y'all bitches doing nowadays is fucking not impressive. It's not that. impressive. Everybody it's could do. You that. wearing the lingerie with some jeans? 
Come it's on. That. Like, it looks good. Like, you look sexy, motherfucker, but it's just it's like. It's not going for me. It's just so basic now. Yeah. So basic to me. Like, like, can you do more shit? Like, I want to see a shorty, like, every week. Like, I don't want to see her every week because I don't want to be out every week. But, like, if I yeah. was to see her every week and I didn't know her from afar, like, her style would be different every time. Like, she would just throw on some different stuff, like, from the 90s. Like, she'll have a 90s fit on, a baggy mm-hmm. fit on. And then the next week, she'll have, like, some heels and a skirt on her or a dress on or something like right. that. You know, then the week after that, you know, she got on like a little like cardigan type fit. I'm like, mm. she loved fashion. Something mm. different. Puppy hair right? with the sweater, with the and overalls. And her hairstyle changed up too. Like, yeah, she got mm-hmm. the two bun buns in, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, she got the curly hair in one day. Exactly. You know, she got the straight drop down for the dress fit. I'm like, yep. And I don't Dang. even necessarily, I don't even necessarily mean like it has to be like an entire wardrobe change mm-hmm. or entire. It's just like the swagger and how you put that shit on. Like yeah. how you carry yourself. I wear black all the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I wear black two, three, four days in a in a row. Yeah. You know, don't matter to me. It might be something different. I might have some baggy jeans on. I might have some, some tight jeans. You, you never know. Some biker jeans. It is what it is. But it's the way I put that shit on. Exactly. Yeah. Unmatched. Yeah. The way how I'm coming in is how I'm coming in. It's going to be me one of one. Yeah. I can't, every yeah. Single time. I can't stand somebody who always goes for like general releases. I was mm-hmm. never that person. Yeah. While you getting the gym release of J's, I'm getting the Nike gloves. Mm. Right. Yeah. Ooh. He said the Nike gloves. The, gloves, the GPs, boy. boy. <laughs> Nike got to re- redrop those. I'm oh, getting yeah. them. I'm finding them. Mm-hmm. I'm about to call some plugs. I don't. I need to restock. I don't want any any of them except for the black and white joints. Like what? Exactly. With All black With the red ribs. You oh, got to get the goodness. white ones. You got to get the green abysses. I mm-hmm. guess the white and black with the with the neon green or like the, have all them, them bitches. that green rib. Like that shit's hard. Yeah. Like, man. Them black and white joints yeah. was tough, too. So tough. crazy. And when, like, in high school, I had a little shorty that buy me the shit all the time. <laughs> That's how I knew she liked me. Yeah, how I knew she liked me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I feel like, how do you know when a joint like you? Like, if she does exactly that, she start buying you stuff, and y'all can say trick on you, but like do the small things. You know what I'm saying? She she fucking with you heavy. You know, mm-hmm. if she she's a little clingy, you know she fucking with you a little heavy. Um. Well, let's say, you know, I can, I'll bring this up. And this know. notes for you, fellas. Oh, mm-hmm. this is. Because if you over notes. here seeing her thinking like, man, I wonder if shorty fuck with me. You better mm-hmm. tighten up. Tighten up, my boy. Um, you know, go over a little crib, girl crib. You know, let's, let's go to the movies. Instead, she said, hey, let's stay at the crib. Mm-hmm. And she come, you come over and she got like, cr- like little baskets of snacks, popcorn for you. Mm-hmm. She fuck with you, boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you, every time y'all go out to eat and she reaching for that wallet. She like you, my boy. Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas just delusional and not seeing this stuff. Nah, facts though, facts though. Right. I think I when I know what she like me is if like I go over to crib for the one time, you know what I'm saying, or I'm over there like consistently somewhat here and there, and I get up to leave. I don't say the night there one time. And she's like, <laughs> "You're leaving." <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Yes, oh God. I want to go home and play the game. <laughs> right. She's like, "Why don't you just bring it over here?" I'm yep. like, now, girls don't like to watch the game, so if they letting you bring the system over there yeah. and play it, they just yeah. want you in the vicinity, Yo. it's a go. It's That's a go. crazy it's that you say that. And keep in mind, viewers, we we touch base with each other for like two minutes before we start recording. So mm-hmm. this nigga City just said that off cuff. But that's what I was about to say. Like, I feel like if I can play the game around you, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's no complaints to be mm-hmm. had, yeah. or it's not a when are you coming to bed text, anything like that, I know yeah. you fuck with me. Exactly. Because, exactly. like, allowing your person to be at peace and in their peaceful bubble, yeah. mm-hmm. you fuck with them. Exactly. exactly. Right? I feel like for a, sh- a shorty might say, like, if a dude goes shopping with me. Yeah. Right? How many times have you seen couples out shopping and the nigga look like he just so ready to go? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know I mean, oh, God. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah. Or... If you fucking with her, you know what I'm saying? Be like, oh, you look good in this. You look good in that, blah, blah. You know, I fuck with you now. Exactly. exactly. And then in the first place, like, yeah, some of them get dragged along. But, like, if you fuck with her anyways, you might, like, nobody obviously outside looking in is going to notice. But you don't really want to go to the store, but you're going to go. Right. Because you're just like, fuck it. I'm just going to spend time with her anyways. Right. Like, exactly. I just want to be around her because she does my piece. Yeah. And on the flip, literally, she probably don't want to watch me play the game all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Right? But... At peace. Mm-hmm. Allow your person to be at peace. This shit is, it, it's it's literally not rocket science. It's Motherfuckers not. try to make relationships nowadays 
rocket science. Exactly. Like you a need, geography. Like, God damn. You know, you need social media for this. You need to do that there. Motherfucker, and just be your person. Peace. Just want to put yeah. this out there, too, that spending brings more problems than you know. Absolutely. Right. Like, spending money on a woman or on a shorty that you have, yeah, it's impressive or, yeah, it's, it could be natural, yeah, it could be normal, but excessive spending can be a problem too because you're now you're making a lifestyle and making her believe things exactly. that you can't be keep up with. It's right. a habit. Nobody want to keep spending money on right. somebody that like, you know, yeah, you do like her, yeah, you love her, yeah, you want to do that, but like nobody wants to keep spending all this money because then she's going to expect she gonna in the long that run. Shit. Now she's going to be like, well, it's gonna only can go up from here. Exactly. So like, y'all get into a long relationship now, y'all three years down the line, and you done spent all the first year with her, spending all your bread, yeah. she can be like, all right, well, now I'm waiting on this trip. And if you've kicked it three times or more, and each time y'all kicked it, you've had to spend some bread, you're paying for pussy now. Exactly. Especially if you yeah. ain't got the cooter cat yet. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm paying to play. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. I ain't paying to play. I ain't paying to play. I ain't paying to play, play, motherfucker. I don't like that. I ain't gonna lie. You pay interest pay on something that you ain't getting. Exactly. Facts. It's mm-hmm. like crazy. Like, but yeah, I, I, I'm a keep on with what city is saying like if you keep making a habit and the lifestyle for her she's not gonna expect anything but more than what you're giving her mm-hmm. like right. let's say the first day you get her flowers and you take her to this fancy restaurant mm-hmm. for valentine's day she gonna want you to take her to dubai mm-hmm. nigga <laughs> like <laughs> do you got to buy money exactly Hell no. and you know we're not speaking to you from a, a realm of like Mm-hmm. Judging or anything like that, like yeah. shit, we low key lived this shit. Exactly. I definitely have done that shit before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like for a shorty, first the first birthday I was with her, got I, I've already said it on the cast before. Hotel, fucking steak dinner, Christian Louboutins. Then the second birthday, nigga, I'm over here like fuck. <laughs> hey, how hey. do I? How, how am I gonna exactly. double up on that? Like, now? Yep. what can I do now? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And my living situation wasn't no different. My yep. bag wasn't no different. But I'm just like. I know now what they expect. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So how can I top that? Exactly. You can't. You can't. <laughs> you really can't. can't. Like That's that hard. shit was legendary. And then she'll start looking for that somewhere else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we said last episode, anybody can just smooth, suave, and snatch your girl. That's easily how it's done. So I, people was in the comments saying, you know, it don't always got to be them bag. Yep. It don't always got to be. Cause the nigga look better than you. That motherfucker might just talk better than you. Exactly. That mouthpiece. And that's the sad part because now we really touching on some shit. How did another man talk your draws off in the first place? <laughs> how? How do you even get the message? How do you get? Yeah. Exactly. Why you exactly. letting it go that far? Exactly. Like, damn. How? He just a better talker? That don't make no goddamn sense. Mm-hmm. No goddamn sense. How did it go this far? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How did you get to where you are now versus... Where we were, we, we you know, were. five, six months ago. Exactly. Is what I say not good enough anymore? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could just talk. Like, exactly. we got so comfortable with each other that and, it ain't just good enough anymore. And then they act like, they, you know how to cut dudes off. Yeah. You got 20 dudes hitting you up. You know yeah. how to cut dudes off. So how did you invite that one nigga into your space? Exactly. It's crazy to me. Yeah, and I think that just blows, like, blows me, honestly, because, like, letting that happen, like, shows the trust that we both have for each other. Yeah. And I trust you to do what you need to do. Now, I'm not the one to go through phones or anything like that. But yeah. women always want to go through phones for some reason. And also, this brings me to my next point, like, where it's to, like, men are such caterers to women that they don't even know. Yeah, women are caterers, but men are caterers, too, yeah. in a certain way that I feel like, say, for instance, like, say if it's an ugly girl, right? And you see her out and she just compliment you and everything like that. Yeah, you're going to feel good about it, but, like... You obviously don't want to talk to her. So, therefore, what you do is she asks you for the number, right? Mm-hmm. You give her the number. Me, personally, this is what I would do. Like, I don't know about y'all or anything. or But I'm saying, me, personally, I'm going to give her the number. Because I don't want any woman to ever feel like, like you know, they got to lower their self-esteem. I'm only here to boost your self-esteem, baby. Right. Because, like, I want you to feel great <laughs> yeah. about yourself. For, for the next person, because then the next person you might feel comfortable with, and he actually might want to talk to you. So, what I say, like, with that is men are caterers, too, because... We aren't the type of person to want to let a woman down. Me personally, I don't want to ever see any woman be sad or anything like that, mm-hmm. like based off what she says to me or put down or anything or let down like that. So therefore saying like 
when we, when we cater and stuff like that, like you ever catered to someone and you had to, you had to make yourself look bad for her to fall, like cut you off. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's what it is. That's the catering that we do. We make ourselves look so bad in instances that we we don't want to like mess with a woman or fuck with a woman anymore. Yep. That we make ourselves look terrible. We play dumb. And then women, that's why women always say, oh, men are shit. This, this, and that. Like, I hate that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But that's just who we are exactly. deep down inside. Yeah. I think that was like a little kid version of me. Mm-hmm. You know, I definitely used to like sabotage talking to a woman because mm-hmm. I just didn't have it in me to be like, Mm-hmm. Yeah, this just ain't it for me no more. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And instead of letting them down hard, but properly, mm-hmm. yeah. let them down slowly exactly. and terribly. Exactly. And make it make it think that it's your fault. It wasn't mm-hmm. theirs. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I didn't say a couple of things, too. I'd be like, damn, I can't wait to get into argument. <laughs> so, but like, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's like, so damn toxic. I can't wait to, I know it sounds toxic for us, though. Like, but I just like, to the point where, like, that's the only way you're going to be able to get out of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd be like, damn, I can't wait to argument. Like, so I could just leave. Or, like, like so I could just be like, all right, cool. I fucked up. Yeah. I'm out of here then. Or, like, late you know? res- late, late response for text, not mm-hmm. answering Start phone getting call, dry, you not, know what I'm not seeing you no more, like, letting you, you know, fade off. Yeah, like, figure it out. Like, you, she just, like, he must not fuck with me. Cause no that's more. what I do. I just, I'm like, hey, I'm not, I see your text come through. I'm just looking at, like, I ain't about to respond. Oh <laughs> to like tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Exactly. And answer the question. She gonna four be all o'clock, heated. Right. Four, four o'clock. If that's, PM if that's the shorty you want, she texts your phone. Niggas don't ever want to look two thirty, but I'm texting you. Oh right? yeah, yeah. I'm, you know I'm, I'm, I'm away. Like, like sometimes you minutes. forget what to say. You know, you yeah. forget what to say. Sometimes you're like, damn, I'll, I'll, I don't have answers to this, but I do want to text her back right now, so I'm gonna think on it. And you start thinking like, damn, it's turning into three minutes. Oh, damn, it's turning into five. Fuck it, I'm gonna just say. LOL, that's funny as fuck. You know, just keep the conversation going, but what you doing? Yeah. You right. know what I mean? You yeah. said some shit how, you know, you would just give her the number or whatever and maybe never hit her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I just like recently had to do something extremely similar. I'm at Burlington mm-hmm. and it's the it's it's the it's the discount crawl. And these ain't like little thick meshes. <laughs> these big meshes. Three, the Gross Sisters, my nigga, from the Proud family. <laughs> Big gonna say, do you, she was like, you need to leave your number for a return. I said, no, nah, this shit gonna fit me. I don't need to, I'm not gonna need to return it. She was like, your pretty ass is gonna definitely need to return something because you're gonna have to come see me. Put your number on the back of the receipt, boy. I ain't letting you leave without it. So I'm like, damn, this nigga Winnie sitting right here dying laughing. I'm like, fuck. And then I wrote down my little brother number. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be rude. You he know violated. Like, I ain't have it in me to be like, shorty, are you fucking serious? Hey, do you know your speed? Like, look at this scale right here. I'm on this end. And you're you on are. this end. Right. All like, right. Tap into the first episode, bitch. Know your speed. I'm like, that's fan UG crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Then when Shorty ran down on me in front of this nigga and, and fucking Aaron, like him and Winnie sitting over here <laughs> sitting on a sitting on the wall, I'm standing by myself like waiting for the light to turn green, and I hear, "Excuse me, excuse me, your sexy ass." I didn't turn around because I didn't want to be the sexy nigga. The voice, the voice sounded like Threw peanut butter was on top of the top of the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Tongue sticking to the to, to the, the to the lips and shit. So I'm hey. like, fuck. I know this Aheem. I'm so bad. I, I know this Aheem. She yep. got she got the big bows. She got the, she got the big bows. Listen, listen. Everybody need love. Yeah, I get guys. it. <laughs> what, what, but what I don't love say? everybody. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? God. Need love too. I'm saying yeah, like, hey, love too, Craig. Hey. And then after she left, she's like. Girl, I got my man. <laughs> dude, dude, she was like, she was like, so what's up with your number? I was like, man, I said, I don't even got service. <laughs> I lied. What do I look? I don't have service. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, nigga? I don't have service. Mm-hmm. She was like, that's cool. You got Instagram. Why do I pull up my IG right then and there? Bitch, how do I get to IG if I don't got service? <laughs> You're an idiot. But listen, motherfucker was like, you gonna follow me? 
And I'm gonna follow you back. Okay, cool. Type in her name, follow her. You know, my shit private. Mm-hmm. She already been sitting in my shit for like six months to add, who to add on Facebook too. Found me from everywhere. I just yeah. don't got it in me right. to decline it. Cause oh then what God. if I actually see her, see her yeah. out? Exactly. exactly. Sick. And it's not like I fit in. Yeah. I'm a big ass nigga. I stand it's out exactly. everywhere we go. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Go and see me. Like, I'm just mad. There go. And, and like she said, I got my man, but like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I'm just mad I was never there for any of them. Cause you know, I would have been co signing the fuck out of it. Hey. Bro. I'm like, yo, he gonna me, fuck with me you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'm gonna be like, dead ass, bro. Text him tonight, call him at this time, bro. He gonna be there. Bro, I swear to God, bro. She called like this this number is no longer. Oh serving. god. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm surprised she didn't call the number right off the rip. Because I dealt with another scenario like that too. At CWS, mm -hmm. and the girl that did it, like that was asking me, she was like, "You're cute as fuck," blah blah blah, and shit like that. And she was just talking to me and everything. And then that's when I'm looking at the her friend because I know her friend. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking to her and everything. I'm like, "I know your friend," and her friend tried to get with me too. So I'm like, "I know your friend." So I'm looking at her dead in her eyes. I'm like, "Bro, tell her that I don't want to fuck with her, bro." Like I'm like, "Don't I?" I'm like, "Don't I know you?" And she's like, <laughs> "She's like." Yeah. And then I'm like, so why are you going to let her talk to me? And she's like, I don't know. I mean, go for it if you want to go for it. I'm like, fuck it. I was like, just give me a number. Just give me a number. I thought she was going to tell her friend off the river, like, girl, you don't want to fuck with me. I ain't going to fuck with you. I was like, just give me your phone. I gave her the digits and everything. She added me back and everything. I texted her friend right off the rip while I snatched. I was like, why the fuck <laughs> would you let her talk to me? <laughs> And you know I don't fuck with you either. <laughs> she goes, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, y'all both getting blocked after that, though. I was yeah, like, bro. you got to be joking, bro. I'll be at, <laughs> motherfuckers be clueless sometimes. I'll exactly. be at bar 30, talking about clueless, I'll be at bar 39, you know, getting the flicks in and, you know, getting the photos. They're like, so you want to hang out sometime? I'm like, nah, I'm just trying to get the photo and that's it. <laughs> And you know it'd be the snow bunnies, you know. They don't, <laughs> yeah. don't really mess with the snow bunnies. <laughs> so, he don't play in the snow. I don't really play in the snow. So <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I don't build snowmen, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, nah, I'm just trying to get the flick for the bar, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Right. But they be they be on your boy. I'm like, bro, they want them little cute ass light skinned babies. Exactly. Your nah. black ass gonna make a gonna make a very your baby gonna look like me. Right now, go like Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> he said like Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Niggas sound like Hell yeah. fucking uh, Hermit the Crab and shit. Like mm -hmm. you, you could really do it though. Mm -hmm. Like you could really pull whatever the fuck. Uh, mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like. And do you ever feel like I don't understand why I don't never have good luck with a chocolate thing? I just never do. Like they difficult. Yeah, I don't understand. But then I be seeing white boys with them, and I'm like, how did Kyle? Because <laughs> they different. Pull Quisha. It just don't make sense uh -huh. to me. Carisha. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like uh, on on Ghost. Mm -hmm. How Braden fucking Shorty. That oh bitch God. is bad. Oh God. Yeah, for real. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Crazy as fuck. I don't never get a dark. I don't never get dark skins. They it actually difficult. hurts my my hurts my soul. It's yeah. just difficult, bro. I feel like the problem with me is like I was talking to like a dark skin Shorty. And I was at the bar with her, and this one girl was in there. And I knew the girl. She was just chill and stuff like that. She was fucking with my homie, but she was just drunk. And she was grabbing on me and everything. And the dark skin shorty said, the next time she touch you, I'm going to fuck her up. I said, yeah. <laughs> this is the last time I talked to a dark skin shorty. I can't do it. Yeah. Because I don't want her fighting and shit like that. Like, I want my woman to be, like, submissive and shit like that. Like, I want her soft. to be, you know, soft to me and stuff like that. Like, I want her to look mad, like, you know, like, mad mellow when she's yeah. out. Like, I want everybody to be like, bro, she looks like a sweetheart, but she, like, so funny that everybody just love on her, just hug on her and shit. You know bro, I, mean? I was talking to this shorty one time, and we was in college, and, like, one of my best friends was a shorty, too. And so, shorty I was talking to was at the bowling alley, and she's getting lit. Mm -hmm. Lit. And, you know, I was, I was that nigga on campus, you feel me? So... <laughs> Tall of course, ass. like yeah. if we out, some some smuts might walk up to me. It mm -hmm. is what it is, right? Yeah. Well, Shorty tried to plex with this girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My homegirl walked up to her and was like, "Alex don't like girls that fight, so <laughs> if you like him, I wouldn't do that." 
<laughs> she still swung on that bitch. I blocked her number. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going home with? Oh, hey, God, God. oh God. God. It is not me carrying around uh, frozen peas on your fist and shit. No, yeah, dude. Nah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like a I like a woman. You exactly. feel me? I don't, I don't want to want a, want a yeah. nigga like I got I got a crazy confession. When I was younger, I used to date the bullies, the girls who was like hard nosed and shit. <laughs> because I thought it was like a challenge for me, because you know I was a pip squeak, you know I ain't yeah. no cap. So I was like, man, you know if I could get her to this submit to me, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what the motherfucker and passion fruit say on Drake shit? <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Get a couple more drinks I mean, this shit gonna sound a whole lot better. Did you just say you used to fuck with the bullies? On their dogs. Okay, Norbit. <laughs> <And I was, laughs> <laughs> I used to fuck with the, with, the, with the bullies. She used to say, well, get your ass up there and hold my hand. He said, okay. <laughs> I can picture his ass doing oh, that shit, too. Oh, dead dog. Check Go your books. Oh God! <laughs> a bitch check his books. He like, I like that. <laughs> you walking down the hallway? Oh fuck, nigga! Yeah, yeah. I used, used to get bullied in school. That's why they used to be. That's why he got I a bully. To, he said hey, the bully used to bully the bullies, huh? Hey, my 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 um, my mom be like, your exes are tall. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> it just it was just something in me as a you know as a young boy to be a dog. Mm-hmm. So like, oh, let me get her. Let me yeah. you know tame her. Oh, yeah, you that shit, her out. That shit get. Mm-hmm. I'm dogs. I mean, as niggas okay. though, it's just, I it's feel like show, there's, there's people that have fantasies like that. Right. For real. I feel like it's our natural instinct though to like want to go get it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Exactly. Get the ones that it's the chase. Yeah. yeah. That we probably shouldn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's always the chase. Yeah. Exactly. And then like when the chase ain't there, it's not fun anymore. It's right. Not fun no more. It's a yeah. thrill that we always get as men to chase something, but it, men, the men nowadays that get over that hump. And forget about that chase. It's, you know, always end up with a blessing. Exactly. Let's just be real. Right. We are City Boy Podcast, but you know, at the end of the day, we are great men. Exactly. I think we great men. Right. I think I'm a great yeah. man. <laughs> right. I mean, exactly like you said, at some point mm-hmm. you get over that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the chase, it it just is what it is. It like is. but definitely as a young young jit, like I wanted to go for the baddest joint. Mm-hmm. Oh, possible. absolutely. Oh, yeah, it was bullies, but they were still bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't get don't get it twisted. Like mm-hmm. Not Summer out. camp as a kid. Oh yeah, you know they end the week with a dance. I need the baddest joint exactly. in the whole camp. Every mm-hmm. every job I worked with, I, I they had to give me that little form like, do not mess with your coworkers. Man. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I remember <laughs> I was a I used to model. Probably not surprising to you niggas, but yeah, it's not. <laughs> but I was getting ready for a fashion show. I was wearing a wearing a suit, and this joint came up to me. And still to this day, I don't think I've ever, like, felt how I felt in that moment. Talking to a girl, feeling like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Like, who the fuck is this Mm -hmm. type shit, right? (laughs) She was like, you're so cute, this and this, blah, blah. Like, you know, how old are you? (coughs) Old enough. Mm -hmm. She was like, oh, my God, stop playing this, this, and this. She was like, I'm being serious. Like, can I get your phone number or whatever? She was like, but you got to tell me how old you are. I said, honestly, AJ ain't nothing but a number. Mm-hmm. Gave me the ditches. Mm-hmm. Shorty was like 17. I was 13 years old, bro. 13. <laughs> Shooting. <laughs> like I'm fucking Wardell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shooting for the stars. Always, always did that. Hex. Exactly. That's what you got to do, though. That's where your opportunities come into hand and come into play and you deal your cards right. Right. Yeah. That's where all those cards pile up and, you know. Once you shoot for the stars and for the moon, you know, uh, endless opportunities. That's what goes with networking or anything in life that you do. Exactly. And you got to keep shooting because that's why out there when you get into the streets and you want to be a city boy and you just like, fuck it. You know what's a perfect example of that? I feel like, though, I feel like Ocho is a perfect example for that. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> don't care who be walking around. That motherfucker be like, man, I'm going to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Ocho. Don't you know that other shorty over there that you were just talking to? He was like, yeah, but fuck it. Yeah, exactly. He was like, he he like I don't give a fuck. I'm just fucking talking to her friend, too. I don't care. I'm right. like, damn. Shoot or shoot. Right? Shoot, or shoot. I feel like every nigga we kick it with a straight shoot. Oh, God, though. Uh-huh. Like, Branch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That nigga. All these niggas straight shooters. Like, Hunch, yeah. Shooter, Winston, Shooter. Yeah. yeah. 
And it's just lovely when you see them in their modes too. Exactly. Right. Like you could tell when it's gonna be one of their nights because you see how drunk they are and you mm-hmm. see that like, it's like the drunken fist. Like they like <laughs> especially Wednesday, like he just get into that mode where he just he just be vibing with himself and his aura just shines bright. And he just like uh uh-huh. motherfucker <laughs> might take down something tonight. Bro, I heard a joint say some shit to that nigga like, um, you gotta have more to offer than just dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, son, that's how like, 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 I'm going. That's how you go. You that mother, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, turn around, you shit. <laughs> that's all I had to offer you. <laughs> I said, this nigga's <laughs> cut though king. Me back. <laughs> cut though king. Yeah. But that that is very prevalent in today's day and age. Mm-hmm. Like, shorties be like, oh, you got to offer more than just dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, maybe that's all you're required. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's all we got for you. That's what I put the application for. Because a nigga, you know, being niggas, we we just only give what we want to give. Thank you. If I'm kicking it with you every day, I want to do that. Yeah. Exactly. If I'm in your space or if I'm, you know, texting you and... We going out to eat. We going play. I want to do those things. Yeah. Right. If you are just receiving Peter, mm-hmm. that's all I wanted to give you. That's it. Exactly. That's not all I had to offer at all. That's just what you got categorized in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In terms of categories. Yep. Exactly. Peter Pusher. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. That's it. How you feel about that, City? I think that. Damn. I think that, yeah. <laughs> when I when I'm, when I'm in that when I feel like that too, and I'm like, fuck it, like I don't even want to fuck with this shorty. Honestly, like I just want to see how good it is. Like that's all I have to offer. Yeah. Right. Like, if I want to be with you and I want to be around you and I want to actually enjoy myself with you, like I'm gonna ask you out on a date, or I'm gonna I'm not gonna ask you on a date. I'm gonna ask you to go do something with me, and see how you react off of that and how you're. How you treat me right. around that stuff that we do. Like, it could be going golfing. It could be going go-karting. It could be going, you know, to the movies. It could be going to fucking a museum. Like, based off how you treat me with that, that's how I'm going to reciprocate. But when I'm just giving out dick, fuck it. I'm just right. giving out dick. Ain't nothing exactly. more and unless. And women really be pressed. Like, he just fucked me. Or he only had dick to offer. Like, mm-hmm. never. That ain't never just what he got offered. That's just never. what we decided to give to you. Exactly. And sometimes all women got to offer is pussy. That's it. Fact. Yeah. Like, I don't want no money from no woman. I just want knowledge exactly. for the most part. Like, like sometimes, like, because women do, like, certain things that they know, they can teach us a lot of shit. Yeah. So every time when I encounter a woman, I base it off, like, I want to get new knowledge out of them. Mm. Like, that's what makes me thrive to, like, start talking to them more. And that's when I come up with the questions in my head. Like, I feel like I want our audience to try this one time, like when they're out talking to a girl and they want to learn knowledge from her, like it's a different type of conversation when you want to know something about her yep. and you're actually intrigued in that. And she actually intrigues you on what she says, because then you know how smart a person is one and you know how, how, what a per- how much a person can make in the future, yeah. right? like their potential. So that's why I go based off of knowledge and shit like that. When I'm talking to them, I ask some difficult ass questions. Like it'd be bar talk, but I'm asking a difficult ass question. Right. Yeah. I'd be like five years, you know, like, are you plan? Do you plan on owning a business? What type of businesses you gonna? Do you plan on owning? Do you have like a career? Five years. <laughs> oh God! On the first night. Oh yeah. God! I want to know, yo, drunk. Like, what you gonna say when you drunk? Because yeah. somebody asked me that question, I'd be like, damn. Well, yeah, I want to own like a barbershop and shop. Like this person might be smart as fuck and might help me with this shit. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. But if I'm just trying to get the draws, then you know, I'm just like. <laughs> Shit, what you want tonight? You know what I'm saying? You looking real good, you know what I'm saying? You know, I start talking my shit, you know what I'm saying? I get in my little city mode, you know? You know what I mean? You feel me? But yeah, that's about it though. Like, it's all in all, like, niggas always gonna wanna drop off dick. Right. Fair yeah. to say. Me personally, I feel like ain't nothing too much you can offer me as a woman. You know, I, I kinda already got it all. You know what I'm saying? When you that nigga, you don't really need too much. Sometimes you just want to be in the presence around a woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm kicking with you and I'm not vibing your personality, I'm just taking you to pound town and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. 
If I call, if I call, if I call you after bar thirty nine, that's all you. That's all you good for for me. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? Of course, I got way much to offer, but it comes down to toleration. Y'all ladies be tolerating this shit to go on, so mm-hmm. that's why niggas do it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying, but the woman I really want to fuck with, I'm gonna make my time for her. Honestly, I'm 100%. not gonna cap. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If I got work and I'm busy doing something, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to push off on it. I'm going to hang with y'all real quick. You know, mm-hmm. I'm trying to get that vibe going. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to keep letting me take it to pound town. Right. Then that's just where this shit going to go. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. it. And I feel like niggas could really learn some shit. Women, too, like, in terms of conversation. Yeah. You really know somebody's intentions and if somebody fuck with you tough. Yeah. Based off how intentional they are with conversation. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And what I mean by that is, okay, let's say I'm talking to a shorty and she's just about to get a puppy or something and she tells me her puppy's name. Yep. Right? Let's say her puppy's name is Honey. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, okay, you're going to be excited when you get Honey. Mm-hmm. Or when I'm talking, I, I, I'm bringing that up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right? Yeah. If a shorty's talking to me and she's like, oh, your kid this, your kid that, mm-hmm. how intentional are you? Because I know I've told you his name. Exactly. exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. Now I know... What you're trying to get from me, or maybe you're still like, allowing yourself to talk to yeah. 10, 15 other people. Yeah, you're just keeping the conversation going because yeah. you just, that's your time to talk Right. To that's me, just so. a regular conversation. Yeah. I want an intentional conversation. Yeah. Or Intriguing. Whenever like, you have a conversation, mm-hmm. they bring up nothing but themselves mm-hmm. or nothing but something that benefits them. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to this movie, or I'm going to go out to eat, or I'm going to go out of town. You, mm-hmm. You're not asking me nothing about me. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you don't care anything about me, yeah. or like, hey, I want to meet your parents. I want to see what type of family yeah. atmosphere you have. You care strictly about you, which yeah. is cool. That's why you in Pound Town, mm-hmm. right? And that's it. Yeah, and it's man. so simple to be able to involve have a good conversation. Exactly, have yeah. a good conversation like that. Because if I say a long message, we talk in this, then at the end, I don't say shit else, right? I'm just talking about me. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You could be like you or. Revert their question right back to them. Yeah. And, you know, reword it differently. Now I'm being intentional. Now I want to know about you. Now I'm trying to learn you. Exactly. Now I feel like you're trying to learn me. Exactly. Instead of having to feel like you the one pulling mm-hmm. for the whole conversation. Exactly. Yeah. I love getting texts where they're saying, hey, I have a question. Instead of, what you doing? Where you at? I'd rather get, I have a question for you. And we go back and forth with that. Instead of, what you doing tonight? You should come pick me up. You should, we should go out to eat. Just you just used me for a meal. You just used me just to have a good time instead mm-hmm. of actually intentionally get to know me, which is cool. Yeah. But I'm gonna press off on that. You're not gonna get that when you text me where you at. It's gonna say delivered for 14 hours. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you was talking to somebody, like dating them, this is your girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She say I'm having a girls' night. Mm-hmm. The last text she sends you. Is at 10 p.m. She don't hit you till 10 a.m. What's word? Again, I'm going to go off that trust. I'm going to go off the trust. It depends on how long I know her. Exactly. Yeah, that too. Depends on how long I know Y'all her. Y'all niggas wild. <laughs> because. Like 2 a.m., I'm hitting the streets. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? I feel like. <laughs> Nah, I'm, I'm coming. I'm gonna be right now, motherfucking car with you. I'm lying. Oh, like, oh, God. I'm like, I'm like, right in there. Oh, God. I'm like, where are you? Yo, I'm like, bro, come scoop me, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. If you don't hit I'm me, like, she didn't answer the phone. If you don't hit me till 10 a.m., all your shit is gonna be on <laughs> the curb. Oh, God. Because how you drunk? As every girl does this, I don't care what they say, bro. They got a man that they fucking with heavy. Yeah. Every girl that's drunk at the end of the night is calling that man and trying to slide on him. Exactly. Or having him pick her up. Yep. yep. You're right. For a fact. You're that's right. also how you know she really fuck fact. with you. Yeah. Exactly. And she'll give it, babe. Right. Come mm-hmm. get me. Or she gonna call, <laughs> complain, and be like, I just got home. I wish you were here. On the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, I could pull up right now. I could be like, here. Hurry up. <laughs> exactly. Like, all right, bro. I'm going to get in my yeah. car right now. Yeah. Bro. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Hit me back after 12 hours, though. You just, yes. just call it. <laughs> hey, just call it. Too. In the no morning, shit. bro, you even think about calling me, bro. I'm just going to be like, yeah. Bro, either send me some bread right now, bro. Or this shit going for it. At this point, I'm going to have well, to you gotta pay to play. Oh, God, now I'm going to have to use you. Right. Exactly. Like, now you got to pay to play. It is exactly. what it is at that point. Can, you know a, what I'm saying? 
can maybe not even just a shorty can mm. can you be ultimatum can anybody be like kid you either gonna do this or that you better be my mom or god right mm-hmm. you can't especially no woman you can't give me no ultimatum like it's either me or the friends mm-hmm. yeah no nah. Uh-uh. It's either me or the podcast. You gotta be, yeah, <laughs> right. nah. Especially, game. It, me, especially when I know what I'm doing, I'm growing with it. And you mm-hmm. think it's all about you, nah? Right. I, oh, I'll yeah. take that. I'll take that risk. Yep. I'll take because yeah. I know this is gonna get me that bread. This is gonna get me leading to my future. It's a future, yeah. What you gonna do for me? Exactly. Are you putting you money like, in that, my, my pocket? Mm-hmm. Nah. I feel like if you gotta ask me that question, we don't need to be together anyway. Thank you. Like. Thank yeah. you. There ain't no point that you asking me that question. It's either me or something. Mm-hmm. It ain't me or whatever. It should be us. Yep. I'm doing this because I want to do it. It makes me happy or whatever. I don't give a fuck what it does for me. But for you to ask me that question, why would you even need to be with me? Because yep. you got to choose. I got to choose through something. You want me to choose through something. How do you feel if I chose that that option? Yeah. I would choose the other option on purpose just to see how you act. Exactly. I'd be like, well, fuck it. I guess the boys are calling me to get on the game. Exactly. You gonna let yourself out? Right. I can understand if it was a woman. It was like me or this woman. I can understand that. Yeah. yeah. Of course. You know what I'm saying? I gotta pick and choose. But when it's something with my future or my boys, it's like, really? Right. Because we've all been there. Yeah. What did little Tyler say, though? Ruby Rose and Jada waited. Man, fuck it. I want both. <laughs> Oh, bro, shit. Fuck, I'm like, shit, we can't be in a poly relationship. Man, like, we've all fuck been it. there, though. You know, oh, where God. I know your ass you, been like, there. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. your friends ain't shit. So mm-hmm. it's either me or them. I ain't well, down. Y'all niggas on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, hey. That's when you get that oh, test. What we on tonight? Hit the bro. group chat, like, bruh, y'all, man, y'all stepping out tonight. Like, well, might as well. Exactly. Fuck it. Man, yeah. I remember the first, first time a shorty tried to ultimate me. It was a girl I was dating my senior year of high school. And we had, her mom had got us these, like, wristbands made for Christmas. And it was, like, the day me and her started dating. Mm-hmm. And it was my birthday. Big-ass party. My niggas, my niggas Stenny threw a big-ass party at his crib for me. Mm-hmm. Get loose ENT. That was our <laughs> shit. We used to throw parties every day. When I say every day, I mean like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every day, bro. Frat boy. In the summer, after the summer after graduating high school, faded every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Shorty was like, you know, I'm on the way to the party, and one of my homies picked me up, and these niggas used to always gas me up and get on my ass because I wore that wristband all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It said Shorty and Alex, six fifteen, something, something. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Okay, whatever. So I wear it all the time. These niggas would gas me. Mm-hmm. My nigga driving. She texts me talking about stop the car right now or it's over with. Like, if you're going to go to that party, if you step one foot in that party, you don't have a girlfriend no more. I said, <laughs> you got to talk the window. Oh, God. My nigga slammed on the brake. She said, you want to go get that? <laughs> I said, drive, nigga. Before I changed my mind. Before I changed my mind, she was top oh, tier. Oh, God. What? They were bad. Hey, for real. But. You can't control me. Oh, that's also uh, that makes me that makes me think too. Like, why do women like always think that we are messing with a bunch of other women while we're talking to them? Like, I just don't get it sometimes. Why women think that for like the simple fact that y'all personally are already way too much to deal with as one person, <laughs> an individual. You. you think I want to deal with? Five other yous, let me not say yous because every girl's like, I'm different. Like, don't fucking compare me to other women. Right. But, like, you think I want to deal with five other women that have problems in their lives? Exactly. It's doing too much. Asking it's me all these fucking questions much. every day, what the fuck I'm doing and shit like that. I can't deal with that shit. I can't wrap that shit around my head. That's fine. I deal headaches. with way too motherfucking much. Exactly. Especially like, if we kick it consistently 60 to 70% of the week. Exactly. Thank you. Like, what? Like, where the fuck do I have the time in the day to go talk to another one? And, and there'll be women in the comments like, oh, my ex had the time. He said mm-hmm. the same thing. Da, da, yeah, da, da, da. whole side of family or something. Well, like we've been saying this whole time, have you been paying attention? How intentional was Buddy? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? How much effort did he truly put in? Yeah. Can you say that you mm-hmm. feel like he really put in? Thank exactly. You. Right? Yeah. He could have been over there every day, but did he pick your shit up? Yeah. Exactly. Right? Did he, did he make you dinner? <laughs> 
Did he do things for you? Exactly. The answer is going to be no, shorty, because niggas that ain't shit show you the entire time yep. they you just ain't have shit. to see it. Do y'all play Mortal Kombat? Mm-hmm. Y'all know Kenshi? Yeah. That's y'all ladies. <laughs> y'all wear that red flag over y'all eyes. Oh my god, that like, blindfold. Like, yeah, exactly. Like y'all see, y'all know this shit is going on. Like right. how many texts did he initiate? I know, I know before you finish, like, we might be snitching on the fellas right now. Like, this is the, the game boy, though. But like that's the game. How it's good it's right? fair game for everybody. Like, Thank fellas, you. like at the end of the day, if you get caught with that shit, get better. Exactly. Right. At the end of the day, woman, if you let him, if you don't catch him or anything like that. Get better, but it's exactly. also the same thing, though. I mean, it's niggas out there getting cheated on right now. Exactly, exactly. and they you know delusional saying? to that. So shit. how intentional is Shorty? Exactly. exactly. How how, is, how real is she with her time with you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It it doesn't make sense for me that people don't understand the difference between people. Yeah. Not all niggas are the same. Not all women are the same. Right. How are they with you? Exactly, mm-hmm. and they got they got similarities. You know what I'm saying? Um. You can tell red flags, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just ignore that shit. And I get, I think y'all, y'all just so focused on not losing somebody mm-hmm. that y'all stick with them. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. You get, hey, there's the door, Charlie. That's the emotional fuck. damage right there, though. Exactly. That's the that's, that quote unquote trauma that yeah. y'all say y'all go through. But when I'll be listening to y'all stories, I'm like, Nigga, that happened to me on a Tuesday. <laughs> oh, what the God. fuck? Fucking <laughs> 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 Tuesday. Yeah. So. But what we on this weekend, though? What we get into this weekend? Because you know, bud. You know, Omaha's Crawford great. Life. Shout out to uh my nigga Winnie and my nigga Huncho's. Happy yes, birthday sir. this week. Yeah. Birthdays. Happy yeah. birthday to them boys. Happy birthday so to the guys, probably man. Gonna, probably gonna pop out for that. Yeah. Uh-huh. But yeah, I definitely mm-hmm. gotta watch that Bud fight. Oh, that has yeah. to happen. I got Bud in round 11. Round 11? I got him at 7 or 8. I heard Spence might do him in, you know, round 10. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> I fuck with Bud, though. I fuck with Bud, but that's that's just where to, that's that's where to tank. You going fishing. That's Tank got boy. vision. I Tank to, got a good mindset on it. So he says Spence might get him in 10. But I believe Bug will pull through. That's my boy. I, I got a lot of Bud. Bug will pull through. I'm going with, I'm going with Bud. Bud from the fucking trenches. Yeah. Go, he was just on there with Gillian Wall on him too. He had to go get everything his entire life. Everything. That mm-hmm. nigga, you can't. You can't fight somebody that got dog in him. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, you can't fake a that dog. Heart, yeah. That heart's too deep, bro. You can't that fake a dog. Ugly. Spence is a survivor. I'll give him that. He survived that crash. He... He probably been through some shit, but he is not from the fucking trenches. Mm-hmm. Like, but mom used to ha- pay the older kids in the neighborhood to whoop his ass. Exactly. This nigga is trenched out. He For got real. that dog in him, and mm-hmm. I'm going with the big dog. Exactly. For sure. Big dog sure. over the big fish. Shoot. And then, well, we you know, probably for the pop out. Oh, yeah, pop out. Um, We're going to tune in and play some bets, you know. Slow down. I guess supposed to have some type of reggae party. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a dub to get in, though. Um, mm-hmm. You gotta get tickets online I'm gonna try to see If we can finesse Like we did last time Facts. You know what I'm saying um, I do wanna say Real quick Shout out to Isaiah Pacheco mm-hmm. Signing my cleats You know what I'm saying It was That's supposed hard. to be DB's Just signing He came down Showed you people With some love You know I said hey Sign these cleats real quick He's Okay okay <laughs> That nigga real so, for that My pop's like Yeah I need those I'm mm-hmm. like nah I'm putting those In the trophy case <laughs> Oh yeah I'm gonna get a jersey Get that signed too That's going in the case mm-hmm. Man sure. we, we We talked about it Before last episode before we wrap up, mm-hmm. we need an update on this merch, kid. What's going on? Yeah, I'm just working on some mocks, mock designs. You know what I'm saying? I got mm-hmm. one that says no BDR. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got one that says smooth, suave. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Snatch your girl. You know, I got a little text one that says, um, you know, why, why'd you, why'd you fuck me like that? Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to look, you know. Set the and we need one for the show that's out there. Fire. We need one for the show you thought that I love your boy C. <laughs> that's what I want. That's what I want on the back right there. I want to say C. And then we have Hoochie Daddies coming very. Hey, very on TikToks, soon. they like the Hoochie Daddies. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, you know, so I want mine. You know, my Missouri Western. That nigga said, mm-hmm. I, got, I got my black ass, burnt ass knees out. Hey, <laughs> boy, I had to. If that but shirt like, didn't have anything on, on the front, front I wouldn't know you had one on. God damn it. You're black as hell. Oh, I accept God, my oh, blackness. God. Man. Any sponsors lately? We got a sponsor. Man, we we just gonna shout out the Omaha Stockman one more fucking Stock time. Town. Man. Yeah, no, Stock Town, Stockyapolis. Hey. Who's on your fucking boys? We your daddy. I I'm the. I now, am your father. I'm now the director of marketing. You know oh what I'm God. saying? So I'm gonna try to you, try boy. get some unis. Try and get make sure we get paid. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? For sure. Yes, for sure. Sir. It Ain't is I, know. King Alexander, for I am kind. <laughs> Fuck you, weak awesome. ass niggas. And hey. as always, three time champs in the building. Yes, sir. For the one time. 
We up. We, we up. up. We up.